Does it look better with that light on or off? Probably on. All right. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be doing a Q&A video. I posted 24 hours ago, maybe more like 26 hours ago now, in my About section or in my community tab, which means you guys would come across it just as a video, the Ripton post. I said I would answer any questions as long as they're appropriate after the 24 hours. So right now I'm going to go on the computer and read every single comment before I delete the post. I decided to do this on my second channel instead of my main channels because there's just, there's just too many people there. If I did it on those channels, I wouldn't be able to keep up with it at all. So I did this in a more way to make it fair, because the other way I'd probably have to just do the most popular comments, because I know that within a day there'd be multiple thousands of them. But today we already got a couple hundred comments, and we're going to be going through them and answering those. And the last time I did this, it took a lot longer than expected, so this may be a two-hour video. That's why I got a drink. I just ate Burger King, and I am ready to start this, so let's get on that computer. It's got a full charge, but hopefully it doesn't die. This computer is nine years old, so the battery's not that fresh. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna refresh the whole page, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the oldest comment first, so whoever commented first, I'll be able to read that first. So that's what we're going in here to do. Alrighty. And then as soon as we're done answering these, I'll refresh it one time at the end. So right now I just got to get to the bottom of all these. It'll take a little bit. Probably not that long. Just scrolling right now. I know a lot of people in some of my recent videos say, and I will do it. I'll make a video explaining this whole wall back here. We've opened almost every single product back here in a video at some point. Some of them are just for show, like those, unfortunately, the cracker containers, we never had them in our hands when they were full. So, yeah. All right, I'm looking at day-old comments. All right, we got all the way down to the bottom. And I also realize a lot of these are just... Um, comments from people saying how much they like the channel and stuff, but I'll read them all even if they're not questions, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Let's get started. First comment, Cool Beans Peace. Can you explain how you made part of your property a wildlife sanctuary? I know it's probably different in each state, so an overview will be okay. So, it's, uh, it's an... What is the exact word for what I have? Animal refuge? or There's some word they called it. Not exactly a sanctuary, but anyone can do it as long as their property provides shelter, food, and water sources, which I do. Everything's natural out there. I made two acres of the property, an area that I will not touch. It'll be left as forest. So that's how I got that. It's... Hmm. I think it's called the the National Wildlife Confederation who gives you signs and stuff that you put around the woods. I got some signs from the National Wildlife Confederation, I think it's called, that I've shown in videos. Those ones you actually have to pay for, and I got free ones from the state that say Wildlife Protection Boundary, these big brown signs I was able to get. They look nice. They're actual park signs. I put those out. They say, no trespassing wildlife boundary. Those ones were free because those I reached out to an actual government agency to get them. But the other thing, I think anyone can do it no matter how small their yard is. A birdhouse, multiple birdhouses, or a bird feeder, a bird bath, all that counts as shelter, food, and water. So you can basically do it if you have woods or not. That's how lenient they are as far as that. That's why I decided to get more signs from the actual state to make it seem more official and stuff. Are you planning any trips abroad? I was planning this fall another western trip. I don't know if that'll happen or not. It's getting kind of late and they'll start getting some big storms coming soon out west. 
in the mountains. But I do definitely have some big long haul trips planned. Not exactly sure where. Next year, I might go on a big trip overseas. That's a possibility. Hope it happens. And I also just got my passport specially for that. And maybe I'll go to Canada. I'm only a couple hours away from Canada. I've always wanted to go there. That's why I also got my passport card, which only border states can get. It's really small. It's keep it in your wallet. Because if you're in a border state, you might accidentally come across the border and you can just go right through it without a problem if you're carrying that. Um, and from the same person asking if I'm going on any long trips. So I answered that already there. Post, how often are you recognized either out unclogging, etc., or shopping, Walmart, etc.? Is it strange? How do you feel when it happens? The only thing about it is I don't like when it happens fairly close to my house due to all the threats and harassment I used to get in the past. I no longer see those threats anymore because I have AIs inside my comment section that automatically block those people if they leave certain trigger words. I got an AI add-on to YouTube because their triggering system in the comments isn't good enough. Someone could intentionally spell a word wrong and it won't flag. So that's why we got that special system to do that. But overall, I'm getting better as far as that. But yeah, I've been recognized. I got recognized in an Oregon gas station by the clerk. He was a fan of the channel. I got recognized by a couple in the Redwood Forest in California who took a picture with me. I also got a park ranger took a picture with me. A couple guys out on a Massachusetts logging road took a picture with me. Um, a couple more random times. One time, a couple weeks ago, a guy in Walmart wanted to take a picture with me. And 10 or 12 times I've been recognized. All positive encounters except once some guy in a pickup truck followed me for quite a few miles until I eventually lost him. He was waiting right by a flooded street because he knew I'd show up back then because I ran on a pretty good schedule of whenever it flooded, I showed up. So, yeah. That's the problem as far as that. More camping trips this winter. Of course, any update on the truck camp? Yes, I just made a summer camping video. That'll probably be uploaded sometime next week, probably next weekend. Keep the videos coming. No snakes, though. I'll definitely show more snakes as time goes on. We don't have a lot of snakes, but if I found any, I'd pick it up and try to show it to the camera. I wouldn't even care if I got bit. We don't have any venomous ones this far north at all. Massachusetts got a few, but up here, none. And they're rare down there. I'm interested in knowing what other hobbies or interests you have that you've never filmed. Also, what are your favorite meals? I'm always impressed how much you cook when camping. Actually, that's the only time I ever cook is when I'm camping. I, I, I just don't like camp. I, I don't like cooking a big meal for myself. If I had other people over, of course I'd go cook. But other than that, I just eat things that are easy to make. That's about it. And no, I don't have many hobbies that I don't film. I film almost every single part of that. If you could speak moose, beaver, or frog one day, which one would you choose? I'd choose the moose. The more interesting animal. Someone replied saying, I think I'd choose the beaver. Top five hiking spots. Mount Washington. Mount Lafayette. Welsh Dickey Mountain. Um, I, I don't know what else I could say. Those are just some off the top of my head. What other interesting trails do I know? I definitely know them. I just can't think of them at a minute. Not understanding that. Have you ever used an organ pipe as a culvert pipe? I don't know. I'm afraid to even click on that further because I think I might knock everything out of place again. You're the best, Post 10. We love you. Thanks for the content, man. 
Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Could you give us a visual tour of your Tacoma and other upgrades? I will never show my truck or what type of truck I got due to reasons I mentioned before, being followed in the past and that kind of stuff, but at some point in time I hope to get comfortable enough after those things people said, because I want to be able to show my vehicle. I want to show camping inside it someday. I, I will at some point. Someone asked what type of tires I use on my truck. I just use whatever the tire shop recommended. I currently have rugged Cooper tires, and you can hear them in my driving vlogs. They're very loud on the road, but I've got used to it. Yes, I do plan on doing more culvert camping videos. Do you have any tunnel videos planned in the near future or any other cool projects? I think I've explored every tunnel around here in Massachusetts or the ones that I'm allowed to go in or are abandoned. The active ones I'm not going in, but if I want to make tunnel videos, I'll go down to Pennsylvania. They got them absolutely everywhere. Basically everywhere in the country got them. We, w we went inside so many train tunnels and stuff in Oregon, Washington, and California last year. I'd love to hear your inception story. Where it all start for you and when you... And how did you... This person wrote it fine. I'm the one messing up. Well, as far as my drain content... The first thing that ever started that was just unclogging drains with my dad as a kid. I filmed one back in 2016, my very first drain video, and it just did well, and it caught on. But the thing is, it got zero views for two years before it started firing up, that type of video. As far as my old food content behind me, my dad used to tell me food lasts forever. So one time at a yard sale, to prove him right or wrong... At an estate sale, I bought a whole box of expired food that was, like, so old. My original decades-old canned food video. He was wrong. That, it looked like. It, it all smelled okay. It may have been okay to eat, but it looked absolutely disgusting. Squatching in western Vermont. The populace don't argue that there are many sightings. Seen enough to believe. I don't even have to ask. I just want to say you're an incredible person and I'm thankful to the internet for letting weird hobby channels flourish in the audience without getting lost in the sauce. Thank you. When I'm replying and not reading, I should probably look somewhere else so you guys know. Have you been back to the triangular trash rack since the flood? No, I haven't, but I'll probably go there soon. Supposedly, it's drained now. That was a big backup, not from a beaver like I originally thought, but a flood retention dam backed up and flooded that whole forest, all the neighboring roads to save buildings downstream. Would you considering hiring someone to manage your channels? I was thinking... This during your last Q&A video, someone to read through your questions, pick the good ones, ignore the repeats. All right. Yeah, I've thought about it, but I don't think I'd be able to afford to do that, pay someone an entire salary to go through stuff. I don't think that'd be feasible for me at all. It would cost way too much. At least, at least the per, at least the amount I could afford. I don't think I could afford someone that would care enough to do a good job, if you know what I mean. Since you usually get what you pay for. Yeah, lately the big thing is editing. That's the most difficult part lately, since I usually produce at least one video a day. I would like to know how keep frogs safe. When draining a fish pond to replace the pond liner that got torn. I would just keep them in a large aquarium, or I would keep them in something they can't get out of, or build a small temporary pond. Although, if they have a way out, they're going to leave if they're uncomfortable. I'd say put them in a small aquarium for now. If they're not equal size, put the small ones separate, because they'll get eaten right away. Frogs, use, they, they adjust pretty easily. 
they eat in captivity every time I've found one. Except tree frogs, they're tricky. Where is somewhere you'd like to visit but you haven't got the opportunity yet? I'm going to visit Canada and I'm going to visit the South at some point. That's my plans. Is your pallet camp holding up? Yes, it is. It might get crushed in the winter. I think it's got a steep enough pitch that all the snow will fall off. But it's not very high, so the piling snow will build up on it fast and it might crush. That's what I'm thinking. Thinking of doing some filming on vacation? Question mark. I would love to see some videos one day in the UK. I have no plans of going over there anytime soon, but I will definitely film wherever I go. I'd be interested in your work YouTube balance. Has YouTube become your full-time job? It is basically my full-time job at this moment in time. Yes, it is. At some point, I'm thinking about getting a more regular job sometime in the future just because of the stress of running these things. But I've already, if you've noticed, slowed down over the past month or so. It's better that way. Because I'm, I'm used to working 16-hour days running these YouTube channels. That includes driving, filming, editing, all that stuff. Used to do it 16 hours a day for multiple years. That's how I kept up with all the comment reading, all that stuff. Now I've backed off to about six or eight hours a day for the past month and trying to not get burned out, if that's the way I should say it. But also, the reason I'm not doing it so much now, I go out and I almost every day is a failed trip. There's no clogs this time of year. The beavers have all been trapped and killed. So until spring, there's not much of our usual content to do. And it's just plain too hot to go traveling looking for anything else. Yes, I'm absolutely lonely out in the middle of nowhere. What are your favorite YouTube channels? That's a hard one to answer. I'd say... So after I was done filming this video, I went back because I wanted to add to this section here. So a lot of the things I've been watching recently, I'm not even subscribed to. YouTube is just recommending them over and over because they see that I'm watching them through. So it looks like I better subscribe to some things. And also a lot of things I'm subscribed to already, I haven't even watched them in years or I even forgot they even existed. And I will be unsubscribing from a lot of them since my interests have really changed over the past couple years. But there's a couple creators I like watching just because I think they're relaxing or whatever such as JP videos. I love his videos of exploring around Pennsylvania, and he definitely got me into doing that a lot more than I used to. And I also love watching Tank Masters Environmental, removing tanks and underground um, commercial fuel tanks. I like watching that kind of stuff. I think it's just relaxing how the guy puts it together and explains it. And other than that, my YouTube feed for some reason is full of truck driving videos. I don't know how it became that. Also, lots of those customer state videos. I like watching those. The biggest idiots to bring their cars into the dealership and the stupidest things. You wouldn't believe how stupid some people can be. Things like that. Otherwise, I gotta say, the rest of my YouTube feed is completely random and it changes every single day. Some of the most random things I wonder, why is that even recommended to me? I mostly watch just random stuff every single day. There's not many creators that I follow that closely in that sense. And I realize that now that I'm going back and looking through everything. There's a lot of things I need to end up subscribing to. And I need to get rid of a lot of things at the same time. Hmm. Wish my phone wasn't there filming. I'd show what I'm subscribed to. Maybe I'll do that afterwards. Or I can use this when I go to another screen if I remember at the end. But my YouTube feed is just full of the most random stuff. It changes every day. Would a multi-day long or even 
possibly week-long tra camping trip somewhat be possible. Yeah, it's possible, but... And a f three to six hour video. It's possible. Six hour video I could do, but probably not do it in 4K. I don't think I have the capacity to edit that. And I don't think I would make a video that long. I mean, a week's long camping trip. I Unless it was extremely simplified in editing. Why don't you do storm drain unclogging videos anymore? I really enjoy them. I love your channel. Have a nice day. The reason we don't do them anymore is because my videos of that got so many views and probably people calling into the Massachusetts DOT where they were all happening. They must have got so embarrassed or whatever that they actually started doing their job before every storm, during storms, making sure they're unclogged, which made them so rare that it's just not feasible to do it anymore because of the cost. Driving down to Massachusetts is about four hours from here to do that. We drive around all day, all night in the rain. It doesn't happen anymore. Back in the day, as soon as we were done filming one of those videos, we'd instantly find another and another and another one year, we filmed like two dozen of those videos in one day. And this is the same question again. Have I been answered and have I been recognized in real life? What's the meaning behind post 10? Absolutely nothing. I created this channel many years ago, basically just to show things to my dad when I couldn't see him. That's what the old videos were for. They all started as fish tanks and aquariums. I wanted him to see what I was up to because that was his job. He was a veterinarian after a vet tech and all that kind of stuff. He got me into that. And that's what started the channel. Post 10 means nothing. Just couldn't think of a username back then. I would not want to be on a survivalist show. No. I have already traveled abroad to clear culverts across the United States last year. And I gotta say, other than logging roads and other than after a big storm, other than Massachusetts, I have never seen a place that badly unmaintained. I think it was an 18,000 mile trip over six weeks across the country. I think we literally found two clogs. That's it. The rest of the country takes care of their infrastructure so well compared to a state like Massachusetts. We can't find anything out there. What state has been the most difficult or unpleasant to travel through? Massachusetts, obviously. Will there be more driving and bad weather on dirt road vlogs? Absolutely there will be. We just made a couple like a week ago. Would you consider building a shed shelter out of pallets? Yeah, we, we literally did that like a month ago. Yeah. Like a month ago we did that. Just look up post 10 camping pallets in the search engine. It'll come up. Hey, David, I'm going to ask if you can call, call you Davy boy. I'd rather people just call me post 10. I think it's weird seeing my name in the comments, honestly. Do you stretch before you enter small culverts? No, I usually don't, but I... Should, that's the same person. Thank you, Post. Appreciate you, my friend. Post, you gonna post another bloopers video? Actually, no, because I'd have to intentionally save that content. Usually, I keep the bloopers in because I think they're funny. But no, raw content gets deleted immediately because of space. The one you have up is amazing. Well, someone actually made one for me, and I thought that was funny, too. I asked in a comment before, have you ever gotten injured, like, more than slightly? I've done things where I've been sore a couple days. My back hurt all night, 
and I didn't even lift something. I rolled a big round concrete footing from a porch I tore down, just rolled it. I didn't lift it or anything. Excavator was used to lift it, but it still hurt my back rolling it. So, yeah, I do stupid things. I bend the wrong way sometimes. Do you listen to music while driving but not filming? Is there any specific type of music, artists? Do you... Yeah. Someone said, I think he's mentioned this. Yes, I do like pop music. I'll listen to country or I will listen to old rock, I guess you'd call it, or classic, whatever you'd call those. I mix them together as I get bored with one, move on to the next. Just out of curiosity, have you thought about doing a house tour on the inside, of course? Well, if people have seen my videos, I've literally filmed in every single room of this house at some point, except the bedrooms. No, I probably will never create a P.O. box and I probably will never accept things in the mail. Because look at what just look at what some other people get on YouTube in their fan mail. People are gonna send inappropriate things, intentionally disgusting things to you, and who knows what else. Tracking devices, all kinds of garbage you might receive in the mail. So for that reason, no. I just simply don't trust certain people. When are you gonna go prospecting for gold with me? I met you at a tag sale in Franconia. You can find me in the wild Amanusic River in Bath most weekends. I have all the equipment you might need. That's a nice offer. I don't really have an interest in that stuff though. I have gone panning for gold before, but never really found it too interesting, honestly. Post 10, someone wrote. I want, to, I want to start out by saying that you are an amazing person and your channel changed my life for the better. I watch your videos for a sense of comfort and education about the beauty of nature and the big importance of culverts. And I would like to ask, do you have any ideas for camping video if you plan to do one again soon? Yes, I do have a couple ideas for camping, and I want to make sure this camera's still running. I don't trust camera equipment that I can't see, honestly. That's why I don't use GoPros. I've had them shut off on me before. Yeah, this weekend, or this winter, I do plan on some camps. I thought about maybe in the fall. Probably won't happen this year. I wanted to go with a kayak to an island. I'm not sure where, but we have in Maine here a lot of islands in our lakes that are uninhabited tiny little ones like the size of this room that just have a couple of trees on them or larger ones that might be a few acres with no one in them one cool place is in maine they got some islands that are literally i think maybe a hundred acres or so they're big enough no one lives on them but they have logging ferries they're logging the islands it's so remote that no one wants to buy them if you could be an animal what would you be I don't know. I wouldn't mind being something like a moose as long as I'm deep in the wilderness away from the hunters. So if I'm an animal, do I get to keep my brain now? I would love to see you do a full week. All right, we had a comment similar to that. Maybe a multi-series. That's a good idea, breaking each day down and then, you know, make a separate video out of each day and then post it on YouTube at one day after another. Like, yeah, that's a good idea. Would you ever camp underneath the Alaskan pipeline? I think that's what this question is asking. I don't know. That pipeline's pretty important, and I feel like I could get in trouble for camping anywhere near it, even deep in the woods. 
I'm going to start just going by comments that are repetitive because you see how long I've actually, we've, we're approaching a half an hour now on the camera. I'm still at 23 hours and we started at 26. That We got a lot to go on here. You see, this is the reason why I didn't want to do this on my main channel because I'd be here like a couple days reading them. And I didn't want to do that. I want to try to get to every single comment on here. I've just become interested in all this stuff just based. I've become interested in all of this stuff just over time. This channel is slowly transforming into something else over time. It's evolving into what it is. How do you have your camera set up while filming and driving? Cheap Walmart tripod that sticks with a sticker to the mag, a sticker inside of a suction cup that holds the phone. They're like eight bucks. Come on, Walmart. Let me pay twice the amount for one that's beefed up. You can't even tighten it the way you want to hold my phone. Go over a bump, it literally cracks and breaks. Every joint super glued on it. But I haven't found a better option. I've tried more expensive brands and I just don't like the way they're set up, so I deal with it. Would you ever get a radio-controlled car crawler? I used to love remote-controlled cars and boats and that kind of stuff. I wouldn't trust that if, if you're... If you're thinking about me bringing it inside culverts or things I can't fit, I wouldn't trust something that expensive out of my sight. Do I believe in Bigfoot? Have you ever had any paranormal experiences in the wilderness? No, I have not. And Bigfoot, I have no idea if that would exist or not. Who knows what could be in the unexplored wilderness? Hey Post, I love your channels. You seem like a great person and kind soul. I'm sure your family is very proud. You mentioned recently, I think on Post 10, that you were shopping for a camping trip. Yeah, I was shopping at Walmart. I think that's what you're talking about in the discount video. I'm just stocking up so I have options. I have a bunch of cheap discount tents in here I bought that were new. Walmart liquidates everything in the fall. Just want to say I love you too, Post. You're truly an amazing young man. If you could go back in time and change something, what would it be? Where do I even start with that question? There's so many things I'd change. Can't wait. I'll just listen and give you a thumbs up. Others may have good comments. Mine are just support comments. You rock. If you had $1 million, what's the first thing you would buy? Property. A lot of property I would buy. Behind me is a logging forest that unfortunately they're slowly selling off and they're building houses. And before that development gets close, even if it... Even if it if it even does get close, I'd try to buy like everything near me. Love your content. Looking forward to some winter videos. All right. It's yeah, we're we're going to do more culvert camps at some point. All right. All right. These are all things I've answered. Do you have any pets? Could you post an updated video introducing them. I'm from California and I enjoy your content you posted from here. What other states do you plan on visiting? At some point I want to visit every state. I'm definitely coming back to California sometime soon to do some filming. I have a lot of things marked on my Google map plots all over the place I want to visit again at some point. Um... Pets. I have a cat, and there's a pet leech in this house. 
And I have a pet snake. Other than that, nothing else. I'm slowly downgrading until the future when I'm ready to settle down. Which is, that's coming soon. No, I do not watch other people's culvert videos or drains. Very rarely. Because I'm out there doing it myself every day. Kids and I been a fan for many years. Is there a significant other and a second post to hold up the roof? And definitely... No, I don't have a P.O. box, and yes, there's a significant other. As I mentioned earlier in the video, as much as I would absolutely love to have a P.O. box, because I know I'd get all kinds of interesting things, friendly letters, and cool things to show on the channel, I just can't do that because there's too many weird people in the world these days. Too many people who would just want to send bad things. So... Unfortunately, as much as I want to do that, I am not going to do that at this time. Maybe someday in the future, I would open a P.O. box on the other side of the country where everything would just get forwarded, but then that still doesn't eliminate the threat because I've seen other YouTubers open packages and they've literally found things like those Apple chips and all that kind of stuff. Tracking devices, just trying to figure out exactly where they are. Yes, there is. Um, next time you, I have no idea what that means. Do you carry a gun when you are out in nature? Usually I don't carry anything out there. I'm not afraid of the wilderness or anything. People though, not, not afraid of the animals. Yep, we're going to visit the southern states. Yep. As far as the southern states, I do want to go on a trip down there. I thought about doing it this, like, February and March. Maybe next year, maybe not. At some point, I want to do it during the colder months when it's nice down there. This time of year, it's just constant threat of extreme heat and hurricanes. I, I would actually love to go down there during a slight hurricane or a powerful tropical storm. I would love to go down there during that to do unclogging of drains and stuff. Maybe we'll do that. It's not too often when a tropical storm makes it up here. Although that was awesome, whatever tropical storm that was. I forget which one it was when I was went to New York and I was unclogging a bunch of drains around there. That's the time we discovered the whole city was flooding because of an abandoned dam in the woods, causing it to back up into people's neighborhoods. All because of an abandoned dam. Isn't that ridiculous? But yet it's happened for years, and it's still happening to that exact neighborhood to this day. Because of an abandoned dam that they could easily go in there with an excavator and just remove it. It's small. It wouldn't have any kind of environmental impact. It's tiny. And I made a whole video explaining that situation. And the... That city of Albany actually responded to my video in the comment section saying that it was an abandoned drinking water reservoir back in the day and it no longer serves a purpose. But they didn't elaborate on why is it still there, abandoned, flooding people's houses. Well, if anyone who lives in that area underneath that train bridge, that, that, that area of Albany, I forget what road that was, but you guys have a case against that city. Or your insurance company should go after and sue that city for that crap going on. Anyways, I would love to film similar things like that in the South. There's a lot of places in the South I wouldn't dare go now. I look at the forecast and it's in the hundreds every day. Because I'm not someone who goes to hotels and stuff for the night. It's not that I can't afford them. It's that that takes a lot of time. Like, if I'm in a hotel, I'm not going to get right on the road. When I'm camping out in my car... As soon as the sun comes up, it wakes me up. I usually I sleep over in Walmart parking lots. The majority of Walmarts allow you to stay overnight in their parking lots. 
the exception is if it's in a big city, there might be an ordinance preventing the store from doing it or high crime. They don't want you in the store. If there's a lot of homeless people around, they don't want you there in the parking lot. Yep, my first impression on the state of California, going over the Oregon line into California, stopped like a half an hour into the state at a Walmart. Two homeless people messed with the vehicle that night. I used, I used to keep my shoes underneath the car, right behind the tire where no one could see them. Someone pulled out my boots, threw up in them, and put them right back. That same Walmart the next day, because everything in the front seats had to go in the back to drive and, you know, to sleep, everything, luggage and stuff went in the front seats to make room for the back. While moving stuff, this lady had the nerve to come over and just casually try to take a bag out of the car and she's like oh i'm just looking for my lucky charms leave me alone maybe that person was on drugs or something well california is the only state i've ever been messed with sleeping over at walmart's and i've done it hundreds of times elsewhere walmart's a good place for that you always see the campers and stuff out there that's usually how i sleep even if i am in hot weather like the best temperature for me to sleep in a car is 60 degrees or lower. Ideal is 40 degrees, 30 degrees, around the freezing mark. It's perfect nights of sleep. It becomes uncomfortable again when the temperature is below 10 Fahrenheit. I've done it as low as negative 20 Fahrenheit. Those nights are so cold, even with a sleeping bag, every now and then the cold will simply wake me up. Same with the heat. If it's above 60 degrees, sometimes I'll wake up just because it's too hot and I'll idle the air conditioning or heater for like 20 minutes and go back to sleep. It'll allow me to get another three hours or so. And then I'll just keep doing that until I get enough sleep. Not a big deal doing it that way. I've thought about getting an air conditioner for the car. But now in the winter, I'll just use a little buddy heater. That'll work good for any future trips. Just wanted to elaborate on that. Wanted to talk a little more about that. And back to the video. Pennsylvania is the best place for abandoned content because of their awesome laws where some idiot can't sue for going in a house that's why they're all boarded up in other states because you could actually sue the owner even though you were trespassing I'm curious if your subscribers are more females or males I know all the females just love your soothing voice. Thanks for your videos. If you guys can tell, I'm actually getting tired. This was a long day. Yeah, in my analytics, New England Wildlife and More is 60% female, 40% male. Post 10 is like 80% guys. That's what that is. Do you have any favorite discontinued foods? Not that I can think of. You're a rock star to me. I'd probably shudder my words if I met you in person. We love you, Post 10. I'm so glad YouTube recommended your channel about three years back. First video I saw was you camping in the sewers. You were clearing storm drains and people were driving their cars on the sidewalk behind you. Okay. I see that. Thank you. Yes. I, now I know what that comment means. Yep. People have called the police on me multiple times for unclogging drains and entering culvert pipes. Nothing ever came of it. They're just wasting the cops' time. The, the cop didn't care. In fact, they never made me go away. They just let me continue. I love the videos been making. All right. Yep. Does any of your family watch your videos? Do, do they understand how popular you've become on here? Yep, my mom watches my stuff. My girlfriend watches almost all my videos. My grandpa watches some of my stuff. Other than that, those are the only three people in my life close to me at the moment. We all love you, Posty. Um... 
What are your favorite kind of videos to make? Drainage. Food videos. Camping, even though they can be stressful to plan out. Depends on the type of the time of year and stuff. Do you ever get a moose tag out where you are? I don't know what that means. Do you think they know they're delicious? You're talking about the moose? I'm, I might not be reading some of these things correctly. I'm very tired if I'm reading some of these things incorrectly. What was your first viral popular video? First one was that 2016 video I mentioned of the unclogging a drain. Have you ever considered hydrophobic paint coating on your truck? No, I have not, but I've definitely put certain types of wax on there that have done that same effect, but it only lasts a couple weeks. Get home after a muddy trip, it just sprays right off if you applied it ahead of time. Do you wish you waited for the 2024 model of your truck? Absolutely not. They discontinued the reliable engine i think for the next year they discontinued the engine the truck had for a while i'm not going to trust a brand new design like that i bought what i bought because it's meant to go 300 it can go 300,000 miles it's known for doing that without a single engine or transmission problem the only benefit of the new one is i think it's got turbochargers coming out next year it gets like 5 mpg better that little bit of MPG difference is not worth an engine that's probably going to have numerous issues. No, I've never seen a UFO in the middle of nowhere. Can you show us your camera setup? I have videos of stuff like that. Yeah, sometime this week I'll make a video of all my walls in here including the walls you can't see which are full of filming stuff i'll show you it's pretty simple i film all my stuff with phones now i used to use digital cameras but people don't think they do as good of a job phones have come such a long way no one even knows that's what's being used a lot of times how many miles does your new truck have on it it's about to hit thirteen thousand, i think i went to high school i never went to college Have you gone to the dinosaur footprints pipe? No, I have not gone to that pipe. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's in Holyoke, Massachusetts. That was a clog caused by decades of neglect, so it's likely not clogged again. Favorite food while dining? Probably steak or Chinese food if it's a restaurant. Favorite dessert? Not that much into dessert, if that's an answer. What's your favorite color? Probably red or blue. I was actually wondering a couple days ago if you'd be doing another one of these. But do you have any trips? All right. All right. Have you managed to have a holiday this year and take some time off for you? That's what I've been trying to do. I actually, I, I don't like not working. I like being active. I like doing something here on YouTube at all times. We still got 20 hours worth of videos on here. And by the time we're done with this, we'll probably have another couple hours in there. So I got to start moving this along and looking through these a little better. Trying to move to Maine from Massachusetts. What county do you recommend? 
That's all on you. I want to be out in the middle of the woods myself. Would I find work as a CDL driver? Maine has a, a low population in the rural areas, at least. It depends. You want to become a log truck driver? That'd probably be relaxing in the middle of nowhere. You don't have to deal with stupid cars doing stupid things to you as a truck driver, which I see every day. And just, just today when I was driving in the rain, there was a big traffic jam because some moron was so far beyond the white line that this truck couldn't go around the corner. And it, I don't know why that, that made such a huge traffic jam. But a log truck driver, some of those roads, especially in the winter, you don't see a person for days at a time. That's where I would be if I was a truck driver. If you have experience, they'll take you. They need drivers up there. Most people don't want to work on those wilderness roads. It might be a, it might be because it takes a tough type of person to do that. If your truck breaks down in the middle of nowhere like that, you're responsible for chaining it up, changing tires, and a lot of guys aren't willing to do that kind of stuff these days. The boots I wear come from Tractor Supply. You're going to need an insole. A couple years ago they started being cheap and now it's a piece of flimsy garbage. Buy a good insole and they're perfect boots. The same company that makes the ones at Tractor Supply, you can get them online with a steel toe. I haven't bought those in a while and my big high boots are made by Frog Logs from Amazon. How is your pet leech? How long does that thing live for? It can live up to 10 years and it can, at its adult size, it can go over two years without eating. If I could try food from any time period, what would it be? As long as I know it's cooked and okay, I, I, I wouldn't mind trying something from a thousand years ago. Because food back then was so different. Animals weren't bred to be fat and produce more stuff. Same with vegetables. They were smaller. Everything was different back then before people messed with things. Yes, I still see April the dog. I gave her away to another family member since I, I like I said, I do things so often it's not good to have a dog sitting here all day in a crate while I'm out and about you can't work properly with a animal out there hi posty I love your channels and I respect you you have a vast knowledge and you are a lover of animals and nature you seem like a very funny guy and you make me laugh and I don't feel like laughing You make me laugh when I don't feel like laughing. Thank you. And I answer your question by the last person. I think a lot of people get their comment ideas from the person down below. It seems to be a pattern. I guess there are just so many questions that can be asked on here because I see a whole bunch of things. As far as my truck, I created my own seat delete system in there. That's how I sleep. I've been recognized at Walmart twice. Yep, I'm 22 now. Am I good with construction type projects? Depends. I'm not good at finishing things. Like, I would hate the tedious job of building things like this shelf, but framing a house or a shed, I'm good at that, if that's what you mean by that. Yep, angry people while in clogging culverts. I've come across that.
post, I love your passion for the outdoors, whether it's raising frogs in the yard, showing the DOT how to do their jobs, or educating us about culverts, water tables, and the like. My question is, where does this passion and knowledge come from? The knowledge comes from experience. All right, so this question here is basically asking about other people's videos that are out in the middle of the woods destroying beaver dams. Now, we don't know what's going on with some of these channels. There's other channels that try to copy my channel, but obviously they are unable to find beaver dams inside culverts, right? So a lot of channels out there seem to be destroying the environment just to try to get views, destroying random beaver dams in the woods. Now. Some of those videos are someone genuinely draining their own private property or woods that might be flooding their house or who knows what, and they don't want the pond. They can do that on their own property. But some channels, you see hundreds of videos of them taking down beaver dams in the middle of nowhere. Well, the only thing I have to say to those channels is that is highly illegal if it's not your own private property or affecting a roadway. Eventually, you're going to get a gigantic environmental fine for that. Do you plan on having kids someday? Love your channels, especially the camping videos. Yes, I do. Um, yep, I my off-road truck is great for my videos now compared to my old vehicle. My old vehicle, I used to bottom out, hit things multiple times every time off-road. This year, I have yet to hit a single thing, even though I have skid plates and I'm prepared for it. Nothing with the clearance I have now has ever been hit. Don't get stuck anymore with rugged tires and four-wheel drive. None of that. I'm afraid I will miss you. Middle of the night. All right. No, this, this is not going to be a live stream if that's what you thought. Why don't I show my truck? Same reason. I've been followed by people. Don't need to give people another leg up in harassing me. If you knew that you will own... Alright, this person's asking... If I knew what I knew now, I think, on your house, what would you have done differently with renovations? Simple, I wouldn't have bought it. This house is going to need more than its value of building it to fix it over time. Because it was bought at an auction super cheap with no disclosure. It had everything wrong with it that you could have imagined. In somewhat recent video, you mentioned that you were going to end up with thousands of tomatoes. Well, I'm just going to keep giving them away to family or maybe put them on the side of the road with a free table when it comes time. Some of those tomatoes I can't even get to. They're so overgrown, those bushes I have. I don't plan on ever buying an excavator and doing that stuff. I'm doing this as a volunteer. I'm not with any type of company. Although, a lot of companies have tried to give me a job doing this. They're not close enough, though. I usually travel sometimes even eight hours to get to those logging roads. Eight hours, you might say. There's no highways in northern Maine. That's all back roads and dirt roads to get there. No, I'm not pursuing my electrical license anymore. You cannot transfer the hours as an apprentice to a different state. Gone. And if you want to work in a different state, 
you need to go and take your license all over again. I don't understand why. The guy I used to work for had his electric license in Massachusetts, and he lived next to the Connecticut border. Why can't he work there? I have no idea. It's called the National Electrical Code. Why do you need a separate license for each state? I have no idea. Well, that's what he told me. Oh, wow. It looks like people just left a lot of comments at the beginning. We're already down to like 10 hours. Do you ever wear gloves when pulling stuff out of culverts? Well, the reason that I don't wear gloves is because most of the time we're out in the middle of the wilderness. It's so unlikely to hit a needle or something sharp out there. But yeah, I'll, I'll wear gloves if I'm doing it in a city when there's lots of visible garbage and fish hooks and things from people. Hello, Post 10. I enjoy the many different videos you produce, like the old cooking videos of many years ago. Would you be willing to make any more when work is slow? Yeah, I, I've been doing that uh, for the past month or so. I've been starting back up with the old food videos. I'm trying to post an old food video every Saturday now. I have enough stuff to do it for the next three Saturdays. I'm sure there's more stuff I could do here. Yeah, I got things I haven't even considered doing yet. So yeah, every Saturday and then throughout the week I might do just food reviews of non-expired items that were interesting. No, I did not design my kitchen. My kitchen came like that with the house. I know it's got a ton of cabinets in there. It's an open concept. It's combined the living room's all one room. I did have to replace a couple of the cabinets, the floors and the counter, because of water damage. Someone didn't winterize this house, so everything froze solid. And when it thawed out, the well was still on. So everything was dripping in here for like two years. We had to tear down a bunch of walls and stuff because of mold. Never came back, though. No, I do not consider buying a drone. I'm, I'm not great with technology and stuff, so for that reason, no. We have zero wildfire damage. There's never been a problem with wildfires here in New England. Even though last year was so dry, I was concerned about it. This year, every single day, this summer almost every single day, is full of wildfire smoke. We can even smell it. It's all coming from Canada thousands of miles away. We don't have forest fires anywhere near here. This is weird this year. We've never seen smoke before my whole life. What car do you have? Both of my vehicles are Toyotas because I think they have the least problems and they last the longest, I think. My old Toyota has 348,000 miles on it. Same engine, same transmission. It still shifts and runs perfect. Doesn't make ticking noises, anything. And I beat that car up off-road, my old car. Every single day, it was off-road. And it... Transmission is still perfect. That was the best choice I ever made. I do not speak any foreign language. Yeah, it, I'm just going through a lot of these because the, the, a lot of these are repetitive, like a few of them meant or they were talking about. No, I don't want to do live streams. I understand your modesty, but I believe it would be a great way to capitalize your success if you're talking about like people donating money during the live stream I'm not interested in that
my favorite aspect of filming my camping videos. I just like being out in the middle of nowhere while making those. A lot of those camping videos, we have to walk with a sled so many miles down a road that's unpaved, I mean unplowed or something in the winter. What kind of lights do you have on your vehicle? I didn't pick it out. I bought it. I had the dealer install everything before I bought it. It's called hmm. The off-road lights are part of the push bar and it's called Rough Country. It's all part of it. I do feel bad going by some of these comments, but there a lot of them are basically the same thing on here. Yeah, I'll be making more hot tent videos this coming year. I do have plans of maybe doing international trips next year. But I really have no need to do it. There's so many places here I have not explored yet. Have you ever gotten inject infections, I think you meant to say, due to working in stagnant water? I think I have. That's why I always keep antibiotics, just in case I notice something like that, so I don't have to go to the doctor or whatever. Um, yeah, I use jacecase.com. If they're emergency antibiotics you can keep in your house or car, all you do is you upload a picture of your driver's license and a doctor will automatically give it to you. Bunch of antibiotics. There's a lot of very nice comments on here. Do you have, oh, I don't have to, I don't have anything to ask. Just something to say that you are the nicest person I've ever seen on YouTube over the years. Greetings from Germany, David. I love watching your videos so much. Sorry for the English skills. No, I don't see anything wrong. If I did it, it's my fault if I read that wrong. And this person's asking. No, my, my username doesn't mean fence post. It doesn't mean anything like that. It's completely random made up. I know you have a CB radio, but will you ever get a satellite manager? I'm not sure what that is, but my truck has a satellite phone that can only call 911, I think. I honestly probably should test it when I'm in the wilderness just to make sure it actually works, you know? I don't think they'd get mad if I just tested it. Because how else am I supposed to know that actually works? Yeah, this person's asking about if I would ever get a P.O. box or adding a Amazon wish list. I don't think I'd want an Amazon wish list. I think that's a form of bragging, and that's the same reason I'll never mention like certain things in my videos. Like, I, The only thing I have is Patreon.com, where I, I do think that's like a form of begging for money if I actually say it in all my videos, but it's linked in all my descriptions, and I let people watch the videos days or weeks early. Like, the day I make the video, it gets uploaded to Patreon, and then my brain puts things in a certain order so people don't get bored. So some videos may sit on Patreon for months before the public can even see them. That's the way I run that in my head. I like spread them out more evenly. If I happen to make a couple really exciting videos, I don't post them all at once. You gotta bring other things in there so people don't get bored, you know? There's a certain way I gotta put that together. As far as the Friendly Tortoise channel, I'm definitely gonna make videos, but I'm gonna slow down on that because that's my friend's tortoise. That's not mine. 
and I'm not often in that area. That's why I haven't made videos of the tortoise in a while, but I should ask my friend if I can make an updated one, and I'll put it on there. I have a video on that channel from like two, three months ago just to show you the turtle's still doing well, but it wasn't really a big video. I enjoyed the videos you did last time at Mount St. Helens, Spirit Lake, all that stuff. All right, um... Have you ever got a ticket or in trouble for unclogging culverts? Nope. The cities have always appreciated it. In fact, the logging companies have offered me a job. And I told them I live too far away to physically do that. So I just do it as a volunteer whenever I'm on that guy's property now. Because it's fun. He appreciates it and he says I have a job opportunity anytime in the future if I happen to move to that area or whatever. I've also been offered jobs at the Vegas DOT and the Vermont DOT, both of which are too far to commute, and I would only do that as a third-party contractor. I would not actually work for them. Have you been visiting any more the house in the woods that had the sofa in the basement? I know exactly what you're talking about. Haven't been there in years because I don't, literally nothing... Is gonna change it's still standing they haven't demolished it I, I just don't see the point of filming it again I have good videos of it yeah I don't think much would have changed maybe I could do it again yeah when will the Q&A air well no sense answering it on the video but I'll probably post this on Sunday Thanks for the constantly putting out great content, even walking around your attic, checking out the insulation and wiring was cool. You have the ability to make things interesting and that's the skill not many people have. I pray for your health and safety. I love you too. Sorry I missed your Q&A. Time for me to sleep. All right. Yeah, I think a lot of people think this was gonna be a live stream for, for some reason. All right, I'm gonna refresh this page and see who left comments since I've been making this video. How long have I been going? It's got to be an hour or so. Yep, hour and five minutes. This actually went along a little faster than I expected. All right, there's two comments in the past hour. Tell us an eerie or spooky personal story. I don't have any. Looking forward, it says a day ago on my end, I just wish I knew the exact time. It's not going to be a live stream, but yeah, we're about to shut that post off in a minute. Now, now I have to go through, see if there's any comments that accidentally got flagged by YouTube. There's only six of them, and I have no idea why they got flagged. I don't see anything wrong with them. Is there any way to send you donations, either that or super chat messages, I, I don't want to turn on Super Chat or the Join button on YouTube. Just YouTube takes a massive percentage of that money. They take, I think, 40-something percent of it. So that's why I use Patreon. That's the way to support the channel if you're interested in that. And I'm not asking anyone for money. If you enjoy my videos or want to see things early, you can do that. But I, I don't need that at this time. The, the channel... I have it monetized, so I do get something for these videos. Even watching this comment reading, I will make something off this at some point. So you don't have to feel obligated to donate to the channel. This channel's doing okay at the moment. We slow down in the summer now, but I know the channel will tick back up, so I'm not too worried about it. You seem to be a jack of all trades, but I'm curious. If money wasn't an issue, what hobby would you indicate more hobby? I'd travel more if I had the money to be wasting doing that. Like I know in this type of weather, I could drive around all day and I can't really find things this time of year. That's why I don't drive around as much, but I love driving around. 
not not a not so much a question but would you ever make um this person's asking if i would ever do unclogging tours or storm chasing tours bringing people along no i'm not really interested in that have any other youtubers contact you on doing a video collaboration yes a couple have but i had no interest in doing that some of them were channels that had nothing to do with mine yes there's absolutely some youtubers i'd like to meet and do videos with my name's david LOL, I know that's going to stay a secret. It's not a secret, I just don't like using it, so I'd rather people just say post 10. Are there any big cities that you'd like to explore there, culverts and drainage? Yeah, there's some cities in this country that have huge drainage systems, mazes of it, but it's just not safe to do it because people live in there, especially the homeless, if you're out in the big cities. I don't think it's safe to be wandering in those. I would love to become a park ranger or something like that. No, we'll, we'll go back to the triangular great culvert at some point in the future. All right, we're going to go back to the comments, and we're going to see, did anyone leave anything in that little amount of time? Nope. I'm surprised. I thought we this was going to go on for a couple of hours. So... Let's see if I remember how to do any of this stuff. Um, all right, I'm just going right now to take down that post. Oh, I did remember. Somebody asked me what channels I'm subscribed to, so we can do that. Oh my gosh, this computer's so slow. If you guys, like I said, this is a nine-year-old computer. I'm not using my new computer for this. This thing is very slow and lagging. It doesn't keep up very well. This computer is painfully slow. All right, here it is, the post. So that today was 208 comments that we had to go through and see what there was. Well, I'm going to check one more time to see if, if there's a new one or not. Nope, not a new one. So, um, now I'm not used to this computer. I'm trying to figure out how to take this thing down. Community tab. Hmm. There we go. Deleted it and we'll upload this video tomorrow. Now I need to sign out of this channel, which is my post 10 extras and vlogs it's no longer called post 10 second channel because i thought it should be something more that we're used to doing so now i gotta log into my post 10 instead caps logged into my main channel and now we gotta wait for this thing to start up it's just this computer takes a minute to get going I was actually if you could see I was starting to get tired and my mouth was starting to dry out from going so long like that
All right, click on my subscriptions and let's see what channels I'm actually subscribed to. I think a lot of the things I watch, I'm not even subscribed to them. Because YouTube just knows if you watch a certain percentage of a video or watch it all the way through, it's just going to keep sending you that even if you're not subscribed. It sees if you shut it off towards the beginning. It won't keep sending it. So some of these subscriptions are just going to be totally random. I'm just trying to figure out how to even get to subscriptions. Oh, I, I'm only subscribed to 78 people on here. And it looks like it's not letting me blow it up. So what channels would I say are my favorites? Hmm. That's a hard question. Because the stuff I'm seeing right here that I'm actually subscribed to are things... I haven't actually watched in ages. I literally haven't watched this stuff in ages. The stuff I'm actually... Yeah, everything I watch on here, I'm not even subscribed to it. Yeah, I'm literally not even subscribed to anything that I've been recently watching. Time to evaluate and delete and resubscribe to new items. Shutting this down for tonight. It's get, I'm getting tired. It's time to go to bed soon. Thank you all for watching. I'm happy you guys like my channel. I love you guys and I love the support of the channels over the years. I hope tonight's video was interesting. It wasn't too long. It wasn't as long as I expected it to be. Maybe when I'm rested, maybe tomorrow or something, we'll make a video of everything in this room like a few people asked me to. Um, you know, we'll try to make that exciting somehow. Show all the walls of stuff around here. You see over here we got all this stuff. You see it goes down too. These are all products we've opened at some point in these videos. Goes all the way around here. Still got some old food stuff going over to this point. And we just have random VHS tapes that were actually in this room when I got the place. Never removed them or anything. And what you rarely see behind the camera, there's some more old food stuff there. We got some camera equipment. Right here are the play buttons for both of the channels. In the back here, just got a bunch of files. You see those big cans right there? I want to make a video because we made a video of this old hamburger meat right here. It's fake meat. It's plant-based. But we made a video of that. It, it actually survived 50 years because it's a dry product. I want to compare its taste to the brand new vegetarian burger or the fake meat. And I also got the other can behind it. That's real meat that's been dehydrated or whatever. So, yeah. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.